what does it look like to go from being a complete newbie on a diet to being the most advanced or sophisticated nutrition wizard? In this episode of the podcast, we'll actually lay out one progression that works really well for so many people and a, a progression you may be able to adopt for yourself so you can start moving in the direction of living your best life. Tune in and take notes. Welcome to the CrossFit Edwardsville Community Podcast, where we hear and learn from our coaches, CrossFitters, and Glen Ed community leaders. Now, here are your hosts, Dallas and Greg. Guys, I'm Coach G, one of the coaching team here at CrossFit Edwardsville, and one of the things that we do here at CrossFit Edwardsville is help people to look their best, feel their best, perform their best, live their best lives, and healthy eating is definitely one of the things that is the most important in achieving that, in achieving your greatness, and being your best self as a spouse, a parent, a career person, an athlete, feeling good about yourself, having an amazing relationship with yourself, living your best life. All of these things are a factor, at least partly, of having your diet dialed in so that you look great, feel great, perform at your best. It doesn't look the same for everybody, but we have definitely noticed that there are certain trends and patterns that seem to be common amongst the people who do the absolute best in maintaining a healthy diet over the long term. And there's a progression that you can go through that can actually make you more successful. As we go into this conversation today, I'm going to share this exact progression with you guys so you can adopt it for yourselves and go out there, put it into action and start seeing progress today. But I want to have two, two important thoughts or philosophies to announce right at the start of this. The first one is that food is not your enemy. Food is a great gift and blessing that all of us have, and it is fuel for you to live your best life. Food is not a reward. It's not a punishment. It's this amazing blessing and gift that we give ourselves, and it's a way we fuel our bodies to fuel our best lives. The second thing uh, I want to share as, as a thought process to all of this is that you know one size does not fit all, and depending on your psychology, you'll probably find that one or different of these levels tend to resonate more with you. If there's a third, I guess, precursor that I want to share or prerequisite, it's that for most people, complexity is the enemy of execution. And as a correlate to that, the simpler things can be, the more likely people are to take action on them. And so as we go through this progression, you'll note that it starts very, very simple and it becomes more sophisticated or advanced as you go up through the levels because there's a level zero, a level one, a level two, a level three, etc. And the sophistication of each level does climb, but that's part of the benefit too. So Let's get into it. And we'll start with level zero, the simplest level, the most accessible level for most people who are starting a healthy eating journey. The elimination of temptation or the elimination of roadblocks can be by itself a massively helpful first step. What do I mean? If you, knowing you, know that alcohol consumption is one of the things that is holding you back. You know that you're not looking your best, not feeling your best, not performing at your best because of alcohol consumption. Stopping that alcohol consumption by itself is probably an unlock for you to immediately feel better, look better, perform better. For a lot of people, there is just one thing that they already know, one major thing, in their habit, their lifestyle that is holding them back. For some people, they have an addiction to sugar and they have a regular ice cream habit and they know this one thing is definitely holding me back from living my best life, looking how I want to look, feeling how I want to feel. Most people that come to us interested in leveling up their game, they already know one or two things that they have in their regular behavior or habit pattern that is 
holding them back or possibly completely stopping all progress. You probably know what it is for you. You'd be like, I am absolutely like just a fiend for breads and pastries. And I know that all of those things are fattening. They keep my weight on me. So at the simplest level, level zero is moving away from those foods or drinks that hold you back or hurt your progress. Asterisk, we don't look at any foods as bad or good, but chances are you already know the foods or the drinks that hurt you. You already know it because you've experienced it. Any food that or drink that you consume and immediately after or very shortly after you regret consuming that, that is one of the things that is probably a big roadblock. That's probably one of the problems. And if all you did was take those hurdles and move them out of your way, take those obstacles, move them out of your way, don't have those foods or drinks in your house. The further you can distance yourself from the things that trip you up, the higher your success rate is going to be on average. There are certain foods and drinks I just don't keep in my house because they're very tempting for me. So I don't keep them here. I don't have them here at all. And so that way, I don't have to forcibly make a good choice every time I walk past the pantry, every time I walk past the refrigerator. I just simply can't make a mistake with yellow cake and chocolate frosting or fudge or whatever because those foods just aren't in my house if you know that there's a certain thing that holds you back don't have those things anywhere near you create a home environment a work environment where the only options there are things that help you these simple steps at level zero elimination of temptation by themselves may be enough for you to make massive progress immediately in terms of your healthy eating. This might be all you need for the next 30 to 60 days. So take it and put it in action. But if you want to start leveling up from there, a level up from there is to start following a written diet plan. People who have an actual plan with what they eat, hey, I'm just going to follow this diet book. I like this author. I like this influencer. And here's the diet that they eat. I'm just going to follow what they recommend. Level one is level up. Now, not only are you staying away from things that hurt your progress, in level, leveling up to level one, now you're following an actual game plan where now you have a plan for intake of the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, the macronutrients that you need, just generally speaking, so that you have healthy food intake, so you can actually fuel your efforts. We're not tracking any numbers at this point. All you're doing is just following a thoughtful, intelligent game plan. What's amazing is how diverse this step can be for people. You know, for some people, if they go from the standard American diet to a vegetarian diet, they see immediate benefit. Maybe they go to a carnivore diet. They see immediate benefit. A low-carb diet, a low-fat diet, Atkins diet, paleo diet, fill-in-the-blank diet. When you go from no plan to following a plan, you probably will see immediate, immediate benefit. And as, as that asterisk, as long as that game plan is not completely asinine, like the popcorn diet, all I'm going to eat is popcorn. The grapefruit diet, all I'm going to eat is grapefruit, where you're definitely malnourishing yourself. As long as there is some intelligent design behind the game plan, you make progress going to level one. Level two, one level up from there, is to begin designing your own diet based on general principles or guidelines. For some people, this might be, I'm going to eat some protein, some veggies, some dietary fat at every meal. I have a general structure that I'm going to follow, and I follow that structure. This is a little bit higher level than level one because it does require some thought, some design, some planning ahead, but it's a level up from level one where you can now follow principles 
that guide all of your decision making with your healthy eating. That's level two. Level three, one level up from there is doing the previous things, avoiding temptation, staying away from problem foods or drinks, following some sort of plan or doing your own, but now with a calorie goal. This level three is the first place where we actually start tracking numbers. It's very important that we emphasize that we don't start with tracking numbers because for most people, this is one of the areas where healthy eating can become sciency, unsexy, and very unattractive. But if a person is succeeding with level zero, level one, level two, where the emphasis is on avoiding problems and enjoying healthy eating solutions, enjoying healthy eating, then at level three, we can start saying, all right, each day we have this certain calorie goal. For most people, if they can spend levels zero, one, and two, identifying what is a baseline level of caloric intake that allows me to stay at my current body weight, my metabolic baseline is, say, 2,400 calories a day. If I eat 2,400 calories a day, my body weight stays the same. Then at level three, we can say, let's take that down by 300 calories. Let's have 2,100 a day so that we have a steady weight loss over time, a sustainable approach, not a starvation diet, but one that can be actually done from week to week successfully. So we systematically and consistently lose about a pound of body fat a week. This is our level three, eating the foods that help, avoiding the foods that hurt, and having a calorie goal each day. And I say a calorie goal, not a calorie cap, because fewer is not necessarily better. We don't want to create the impression that food is bad, avoid food, stay away from food, food is bad. That is not a healthy relationship with food, but having a goal every single day, I'm going to hit my 2,100 calories because that is where I will lose weight consistently because it's 300 calories down from the baseline that I established. So that's level three. Now, level four is where things can start to really get interesting from a gamification of the journey perspective. And what I mean by that is some people really do enjoy having numbers to hit each day. I try and hit this many grams of protein, this many grams of carbohydrate, this many grams of dietary fat each day. When we talk about macronutrients, that's what we're talking about. Macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, dietary fats. And to be clear, for almost everybody, you need at least some of each of these. The ratios, the percentages can vary based on a person, based on their preferences, their food preferences. It can vary based on lifestyle factors, whether they're dieting down for a bodybuilding show, whether they're dialing up for a CrossFit competition. The specifics of this can be highly variable to the person. But at level four, we're eating on plan foods that help us, avoiding off plan stuff that hurts us. We have a calorie goal, and now we can start targeting this much protein, this much carb, this much dietary fat. This is where people can really start to become much more knowledgeable and much more advanced and much more successful if they are able to psychologically embrace the idea of tracking those specific numbers. The, the hard work is definitely worth it. It definitely pays off to embrace and do this level. For some people, it's the right move. For some, it's not because for some people, the mathematics ification of healthy eating can suck all the joy out of eating, all the joy out of food. And for some people, it actually hurts their ability to sustain over time versus helps. So again, level four, the more advanced is the right move for some people. And finally, level five. We have eliminated temptation at level zero. 
we've started following an intentional specific dietary plan either self-designed or designed by somebody else we have a calorie goal we have macro goals at level five we can start really making refinements to these things we can start tweaking the ratios and percentages of the macros this is one way that i do mine where depending on what i am doing i'll make some in terms of my activity levels, my lifestyle, I'll make adjustments on that. There's also good science to validate the idea that when you eat your foods relative to your workout time, you can get more benefit or less benefit based on the timing of those things. We can start introducing timing of carbohydrate intake, timing of protein intake, timing of et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We can start refining sodium levels and so on. All of these things are refinements to an already good game plan that we can use at level five in order to push the boundaries of what we're of what we're achieving even further. And those, ladies and gentlemen, are the levels. Level zero, elimination of temptation. Level one, following a written for you done plan. Level two, deciding your own based on principles and guidelines that match your needs. Level three, doing the previous things with a calorie goal. Level four, doing the previous things with macro goals as well. Level five, doing the previous things with further refinements. Hopefully this has somewhat demystified healthy eating for you, but you may still have questions. You may still need some help or some guidance. And if that's the case, we are here to help you. We have a coaching team that is well experienced and well versed in these things and can talk to you about what does healthy eating look like for you and if that's the case if you need that guidance find us on all the socials at crossfit edwardsville when you're ready go to crossfitedwardsville.com you can book a no sweat conversation talk to a to one of our coaches by phone it's free no cost to you and we'll talk about what does your unique specific healthy eating journey look like for you for now, we thank you for the gift of your time and your attention. We will see you in the next episode of the podcast.